This place looks familiar. Where have we seen this again? Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 filming locales used in multiple movies and TV shows. For this list, we're taking a look at locations, locales, places, areas, sites, and more that appear time and time again on the big and small screens. You don't understand. I was invited. <laughs> Number 10. Hatley Park National Historic Site, Colwood, Canada. This site, located near Victoria, British Columbia, Canada, is fit for royalty. In fact, the mansion in the park, called Hatley Castle, was intended to be the Canadian residence of the British royal family during World War II. Instead, the park's gardens and castle have become movie and TV stars. You're in my school for the gifted, for mutants. You'll be safe here from Magneto. The stately abode has housed bad guys like Lex Luthor in the Smallville TV series, educated characters in Masterminds and the X-Men movie series. I protected them, taught them to control their powers, and in time, teach others to do the same. And terrified film audiences watching The Changeling. A house on Chestnut Park. Your family lived there until 1906. It's had a history of uh, strange happenings. Number nine. Bronson Canyon, Los Angeles, California. This location has appeared in so many versions of the Star Trek TV series and movie franchise that Trekkies probably recognize it as quickly as they do William Shatner or Patrick Stewart. Spock. <clears throat> Mr. Spock? The East Portal, which features a cave entrance, is especially popular and easily identifiable as the entrance to the Batcave in the 1960s Batman TV series. Some other movies and shows filmed, at least in part here, include The Scorpion King, The Mission Impossible TV Show, and Invasion of the Body Snatchers. I've been afraid a lot of times in my life, but I didn't know the real meaning of fear until, until I had kissed Becky. Number eight, Old Royal Naval College, Greenwich, England. Mr. Wood. Good luck, Your Majesty. This British location, which was actually used by the Royal Navy until 1998, may be the most versatile on this list. In The Dark Knight Rises, it was a cafe. In Patriot Games, it was a stand-in for a lecture hall. In The King's Speech, it traveled through time as Buckingham Palace, and in Les Miserables, it even successfully pretended to be Paris. You at the barricades, listen to this. The people of Paris sleep in their beds. You have no chance, no chance at all. It's also a good place for drama. In National Treasure 2, Book of Secrets, Nicolas Cage's character had a meltdown surrounded by its splendor. Well, let me guess. It's the wrong time. It's the wrong place. I'm wrong again. Wrong about us. Wrong about Thomas Gates. Wrong that you like the Queen Anne chair. Number seven, the Hollywood sign, Los Angeles, California, USA. LA's a cold place even in the middle of summer. That it's a lonely place even when you're stuck in traffic on the Hollywood freeway. Literally, nothing says Hollywood like this well-known sign, made with 45-foot-high letters and perched in the hills surrounding the legendary Los Angeles neighborhood. It's been watching over the city since 1923 and has become a star in its own right as a meeting place, hiding place, or target of destruction. Oh my god, Lisa, uh, are you getting this on camera? That this tornado just came and erased the Hollywood sign. The Hollywood sign is gone. It's just shredded. The two lead characters in Friends with Benefits hung out in the sign. Dr. Evil cleverly hid behind it in Austin Powers in Goldmember. And a tornado blew it away in Sharknado. Number 6. Hatfield House, Hatfield, England Oh my god. Even though this place, located in the UK, is huge, it would be crowded if all the movie characters who lived here were on site together. This is an amazing house. I'd like to shoot it sometime if you... Mr. Sorry. Wayne, uh, we need to open a few more cases of the champagne. Will that be all right? Oh, sure. Go ahead. 
Some of the interesting bedfellows to be made in such circumstances would include Lara Croft of Tomb Raider fame, Detective Sherlock Holmes in the 2009 action mystery flick, Batman – it served as Wayne Manor in two movies about the caped crusader, and Mary, Queen of Scots, who was imprisoned here by Queen Elizabeth I in the Golden Age, to mention just a few. What does any of this to do with me? Number 5. The Golden Gate Bridge, San Francisco and Marin County, USA You're on the bridge. They're trying to get to the Redwoods. The Hollywood sign lets movie viewers know they're watching something set in LA. And this bridge is one of the most iconic symbols of San Francisco. There's still buses on that bridge. As a result, it's been used in numerous movies and TV shows, both as part of a scenic backdrop and as a prop to be digitally manipulated. Charles always wanted to build bridges. Memorable moments include a madman with a school bus full of scared kids traversing it in Dirty Harry in 1971, and part of the bridge getting destroyed in 2014's Godzilla reboot. <laughs> Number 4. Greystone Mansion, Beverly Hills, USA Even though it's in Beverly Hills, this classic Tudor mansion could just as easily be in the British countryside. Its most recognizable feature, as far as its use as a filming location is concerned, is probably its elegant staircase. Dad? Dad, is that you? Popular films that used the mansion include Spider-Man, where it served as the palatial home of Harry Osborne's father, There Will Be Blood, where it was definitely the site of bloodshed, I'm finished. as well as The Bodyguard, Rush Hour, and The Social Network. Oh, it's Mikulos. Tyler. Tremendous face. Thank you. Oh, and this is my brother, Cameron? Excellent. Sir? His Royal Highness Prince Albert. Oh, Your Highness, this is Cameron and Tyler Winklevoss. Of course. Number 3. Johnny's Coffee Shop, Los Angeles, USA This place, along with the Quality Cafe, is a popular movie meeting location. Well, there was a DUI stop. A DUI stop? Wow, let me load up my guns. <laughs> a DUI? Oh, shit! Well, I... Some films that have used the authentic mid-20th century diner include Very Bad Things, American History X, and Volcano. Unfortunately, if you'd like to have a cup of joe at the same counter where the dude sat in The Big Lebowski, or to reenact the tipping scene from Reservoir Dogs, a couple of other movies filmed at this historical landmark, you can't. That's bullshit. Johnny's has been closed for 15 years. It's only open for filming. Who didn't throw in? Mr. Pink. Mr. Pink. Why not? He don't tip. He don't tip? What do you mean you don't tip? They don't believe in it. Shut up. Number 2. The Vasquez Rocks, Sierra Polona Mountains, USA We're not that far from Vasquez Rocks. Oh, they shot a lot of Star Trek episodes out there. We got our costumes in the trunk. We could go there and have a little photo shoot. Just like Bronson Canyon, this LA location, with its foreboding jagged rocks, was a favorite of the Star Trek original series folks. So what's our first pose gonna be? Uh, I say we begin with a classic Star Trek fight scene. I'll set the timer. In fact, the show used the site so many times that it's been nicknamed Kirk's Rock. And has been featured in movie and TV homages to Star Trek, including Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey and an episode of The Big Bang Theory. In addition to all of its Star Trek related uses, it served as a backdrop in various other types of movies. <laughs> Before we reveal our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. They rest and let me die. Down. We 
we can't. Here they come. We have no choice. Number one, Monument Valley, Colorado Plateau, USA. I had run for three years, two months, 14 days, and 16 hours. This picturesque desert area, located on the state line between Arizona and Utah, has been a popular location for filming since the 1930s. You're a good friend. You two sweet are the best. Many types of movies, including westerns, comedies, and sci-fis, have featured some portion of this unique part of the Colorado Plateau. I'm pretty tired. I think I'll go home now. The title character in Forrest Gump ended his long run here, Tom Cruise climbed its steep rocks in Mission Impossible 2, and Clark Griswold haplessly tried to find a gas station in the iconic locale in National Lampoon's Vacation. Where are you going? Well, there's gotta be a phone or a gas station around here somewhere, honey. Do you agree with our list? What's your favorite movie or TV filming locale? For more fascinating top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Got a lovely bunch of coconuts. Here they are, standing in a row.